Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Inkboy, and today I'm super excited because I'm finally going to show you the new toy I got myself. Uh, I do apologize uh, for the wait. It's just that this took a little bit longer than usual uh, to get here. And have you ever been just like so focused on something that you literally just couldn't focus on anything else until like that thing happened? And that's the way I was with this board because it wasn't a cheap purchase and waiting for it to get here i was so excited for it i just like i couldn't even think about getting on second life or playing video games or anything like that i just wanted my board and now it's here i'm going to kind of give you like a brief review of it what you get in the box um i will do a more extensive review of it with like footage of me riding and all that stuff later on down the line but if you're looking into getting a new board, I want you to be able to look at this video, know what you're getting in the box, and be able to make like a good decision on your next purchase. All right, so let's go ahead and get into what you do get in the box. So over here, uh, by the way, spoiler alert, I have already taken this board out and experienced it, and I've been able to ride it around a bit. So if you see a little bit of dirt on it, it's because I've already I just couldn't help myself. I had to take it out, okay? <laughs> so, um, yeah, first of all, in the box, you get uh, the board itself, which we'll get to in a moment because it's the star of the show. But you get your controller. Um, this controller is amazing. It's very well made, super high quality. Um, it When you turn it on, it display has this little... Uh, display here and it tells you how fast you're going you can switch this over to miles per hour um, I just haven't switched it over yet you get to see how much your board is charged and uh, how much your remote itself is charged super cool um, and a cool feature about this remote is that once you get it paired up with the board appropriately I'm just gonna flip the board over here for a second um, so you can see but you should be able to see there is a green light on. That means this board is turned on. So from this remote, not only is it like super comfortable in your hand and everything, but it turns your board on, which in the electric skateboard world, that's kind of that's kind of fancy. So yeah, I really dig that about this remote. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off there. Um, and we'll flip the board back over as we go over more features here. Uh, you also get some sleeves for your hub motors. Uh, once that uh, urethane wears off, um, you can just pop these on. They're the same size as the front wheels on here. So you don't have to worry about swapping out the wheels completely if you don't want to. Um, I will say that uh, you can just put, you know, whatever wheels you want on the front as long as they're the same uh, diameter as um, what's on there if you want to swap those out to new ones when you do switch to these which I probably will do just so I don't have mix matching wills but it's a nice touch that they included these because it's uh it's gonna take a while depending on how much you ride your board for this to get worn down but when it is worn down you definitely want to have these on hand to swap out um, it's just part of board maintenance essentially so and I would advise if you uh, plan on staying with uh, this board or with the hub motor set up for a while that you probably get another set of these and just have like two sets on hand at a time that's what i'm gonna do next um is probably just order another set of those just so i have them just in case because you never know because even if they don't wear down you could experience chipping and all that stuff that just happens um it's part of maintenance right so next thing you're going to get is of course your charging cable for your remote and the charger for the board itself now this is super cool it's not like um most chargers for this boards again this is something that x-way has brought to this board that is just another level of quality to me um this charger is magnetic so what that means is like when you slide it over the little charging port it's going to connect into it and it's it's super nice it's i wish everything did that because it makes things so much easier to charge you don't have to struggle to like shove this little connector in <laughs> and like risk damaging the pins or anything like that it's like super awesome especially for what you pay for this board the quality of this board is just i i can't praise it enough um Next, you're going to get your T-Tool. 
This is very important. I don't really have many complaints with this board, if any. But the one thing I would, like, give feedback on that isn't necessarily praise is when I first got this board, the trucks were very loose. When I watched reviews on this board, everyone was giving it great reviews, and they mentioned the trucks were loose. As a person who I've moderately ridden long boards, I have a manual long board, um, but I live in Indiana. I don't have hills to bomb down. I don't experience speed wobbles on that board where I live. So I don't necessarily understand too much what causes speed wobbles, or well, I didn't. Until I started to ride this board, and before even hitting 15 miles per hour, I experienced a speed wobble. <laughs> um, and so I, I took this out, I tightened my trucks up, and that eliminated eliminated uh, that issue. So when you very first get this board, especially if you're a beginner, tighten your trucks up. If you don't know how to do that, I'll demonstrate that really quick. So you're just going to take your board, flip it over. And uh, so you, you're going to tighten two parts up. You're going to tighten. There's four of these guys, on two on either side, right down here. So you're going to tighten that up. And then on the front, uh, you also have this right here. So you're going to tighten that up as well on both sides. And just make sure you get it to where it's it feels like it's nice and tight. Um, of course, that's going to cause your turning radius uh, and like carvability to like drop. It's going to drop it down a little bit. But trust me, when you first get this board and you're starting to learn the behavior of it, you, you want it to be as tight and as sturdy as possible. And then as you get comfortable, you know, experiment, lower, like loosen them up at, you know, your own risk. But definitely when you're first getting this board out of the box, you're testing it out, tighten your trucks up. Um, with that said, talking about speed on this board, this thing goes up to 29 miles per hour, which is just ludicrous <laughs> that a board could do that. But that's one of the reasons why I got it. I wanted an upgrade in speed. Um, I have an electric scooter. That thing's fun. I do this as a hobby. Um, I don't need it for transportation. Well, I take that back. I do um, have a car, but my car uh, is a gas guzzler and it, it takes premium gas. Um, so if I can ride this just like down the street to the, the convenience store instead of spending money on this the high price gas I put in my vehicle, I'll do that. But this is mainly just a stress reliever for me. However, if you are looking for something to ride on the street to get from point A to point B as a, a commuter vehicle, this this would be great for that. Like it has the speed for you to feel safe driving around vehicles. With my electric scooter that only went 15 miles per hour, I didn't really feel that safe. Um, I didn't feel like I could maneuver out of those situations uh, safely. And I felt like people, were very much annoyed by me. I mean, they're still going to be annoyed by you being on this board, but at least you'll have speed to kind of compensate for it, right? So, anyways, while I'm on the bottom of the board here, let's talk about uh, a few things. So, first of all, this is your charging port. You just flip that up. You can see um, that's where this would, like, connect into. You just pop it on there, and it just slides right on there. Perfect. Um, connects into place. No worries, you got your power button which once you get your remote synced up, you don't really have to touch the power button, but it's there if you need to. Uh, another thing I really like about this board is the stealthiness of it. Like you literally, until you're riding on this, and even when you're riding on this, it's not obvious that this thing is an electric skateboard at all. Like it's just completely um, stealth. That's one of the reasons why I picked this board is because it's so stealthy. People are not going to like see you riding it at normal speeds <laughs> and think like, look at this guy on his electric skateboard. Um, I mean, they might think that with me because of the protect protective gear I wear, um, but it's, uh, it's, it's pretty stealthy if you're just going to ride it, just cruising around at like 10 to 15 miles per hour. Um, <clears throat> the the next thing is here you do got your hub motors on the back uh, these are uh, basically what that means is that the motors are inside these wheels um, so that makes everything go 
this the cool thing about th another reason why I just I love this board is if I wanted to upgrade to a belt drive system um, I could do that very easily they offer a kit it's called the riot kit and literally all you do to upgrade this board to the belt drive is you purchase that kit you take this truck off and just snap the other one into place like it's literally a plug-and-play system I've never never seen anything like it in the electric skateboard community when I was doing my research so yeah it's it's like this board is awesome honestly uh, for the price I paid around seven hundred and eighty dollars for it something along those lines I think I'm gonna say between 750 to like 780 something like that my, I actually ended up being over 800 because I got fast shipping on this um, if you are ordering an personal electric vehicle during this time so a skateboard a scooter anything like that uh, be aware that it's going to take a while to ship to you uh, if it's during these times. Um, I got fast shipping on this thing and it took two weeks to get to me. Uh, so that should give you an idea. You, it could have taken up to three weeks with fast shipping. So I've in the skateboarding, e skate communities I'm in, a lot of people are complaining it's taken like a month to two months. Um, so for just it's not just like X-Way it's every like Chinese uh, board company there is um, that's shipping boards out right now they're having a delay um, because everything that's going on and that doesn't mean like the board is bad this is a you know like a Chinese board I believe and it's not a bad board like this is boosted went out and honestly when boosted was around this board was could have easily uh, have been said that it's better than a boosted board um, one thing I will mention that if you want a flexible deck this does not have a very flexible deck one of the reasons why you might want that is if you have a flexi deck like a bamboo deck you're gonna run over bumps um, and it'll absorb some of that a little bit uh, to compensate for that though you'll see the grip tape is padded which is very nice and it does do a fairly good job but with this board going 29 miles per hour, they didn't want to put um, a flexible deck on this board uh, because, I mean, you want it to be stable. This uh, this deck is a composite of, I believe, like, it has carbon fiber, maple, fiberglass. I think it might have bamboo in it. It's, it's, got, it's got some really good materials in it, and it does feel pretty good, but it's not going to absorb uh, things as good as a bamboo deck, of course, but they needed to make it that way so it could sustain uh, those speeds and be stable. Um, and since I've tightened my trucks, it is very stable. So, yeah, also it is uh, essentially Linex. This thing is super durable. Like, you're not going to, like cause anything to happen to this board like they line x this thing so it's incredible value for what you get especially when you think about how much a boosted board is not saying anything bad about boosted boards they got a great reputation aside from you know them being out of business now but back when they were around they were they were uh, very reputable in the community so yeah this is the x-way x1 uh pro if you are interested in getting an electric skateboard, I do recommend this. I will have some footage of me cruising around on this soon. I even ordered some LEDs to hook this thing up and make it look super, super awesome. I will do another video of like the safety gear I use because if you do get on this and you are going to go over 15 miles per hour, um, at that point, it's not a, a skateboard. It's essentially a vehicle. So you need to, regardless, wear a helmet and you need to have the appropriate padding. So I'll show you the gear that I have in another video. So get some riding footage out. And if you have any questions, suggestions, concerns, comments, reach out to me. Uh, leave me a comment. I'll reply to it as soon as I can. But uh, with that, guys, have a great day and I will catch you in my next video.